Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Taurus came out with a handgun that I never saw coming. I'm actually shocked that they came out with this handgun. It comes in this big huge case. It's priced right. It is chambered in a, shall I say, ongoing caliber that has become very very popular in the last seven or eight years and I, I just didn't see it coming I felt like the GX4 series the G3 series was doing so well that they wouldn't produce something like this but they did and you can see that in a big large case it's a full-size handgun so let's check it out what did Taurus do now they're always up to something and here we have the TH10 chambered in 10 millimeter. It has some features that are common with Taurus as well as some different things that we're going to talk about and if you go with this it comes with two additional back straps and two 15 round magazines. This is loaded. We are going to weigh the pistol as well as a lock, paperwork. It's a very nice case. So we'll get this out of the way and talk about the TH10 chambered in 10 millimeter. This is an all ambidextrous gun. So you look at the thumb safety, the slide stop, the magazine release is located on both sides of the handgun. And when the thumb safety is engaged, and we'll show clear here because I do have a mag in there, the trigger lock and the slide locks nothing is happening so you could carry this cocked and locked just like that in a sweep of the thumb and it's in single action even in double action it will lock up both the slide and the trigger it has that grip that is very common with Taurus some gritty texturing there as well as the back strap full-size grip obviously it has 15 round magazines and some bumps in there I wouldn't say they're grooves but they're bumps for a full three finger contact plus some a lot of real estate there the magazine release is ambidextrous the left side of the pistol it's rather stiff all right but you drop it with the trigger finger and it just comes out easier on this model anyhow and there it says taurus and on this side it says th10 10 millimeter auto 15 round magazines. It's a double action, single action handgun. So in single action, has a nice clean trigger pull with a fairly short reset. Check this out. That's why I like those single action guns. The reset seems to be a little bit shorter. Double action is heavy. But I, I think they did a nice job. 15 round mags, ambidextrous, serrated black rear sight, Pinned in front dot, MSRP 531. And the recoil spring is pretty heavy. And that's what you would expect with a 10 millimeter. A lot of people use 10 millimeter as a four-legged problem they have when they're out hiking in the woods or whatever. You know, they come across some game there that, maybe not game, but a four-legged creature that they feel they need that additional power and it takes stronger components to put together a 10 millimeter and priced at 531 I think it's pretty nice not a lot of actually zero slide motion very tight handgun with a two slot pick rail nice overall feel let's go ahead and take a look at the disassemble here very easy disassemble with those takedown levers and there's a look at the frame. It has a dual recoil spring and a four and a quarter inch barrel. I don't think I mentioned that. Four and a quarter inches. And then here we have the firing pin block right there. It's got a little shine to it. And then when you put it back together, this is this is very tight, by the way. Not just the magazine release, but that, that spring is very tight. And then we want to make sure everything is downward as we reassemble and this is what I'm talking about right there and then it's reassembled nice single action trigger pull All right I think I mentioned five and a half pounds but let's go ahead and get it on the scale because I have this mag loaded up with 15 rounds so we'll do that the unloaded weight with the magazine inserted 
is one pound 12 and three quarter ounces we move that to just ounces 28 and three quarter ounces but if we go with the loaded mag we'll see we're looking at 38 and one eighth ounce so a full-size gun 15 rounds you're getting some real good capacity in 10 millimeter why do you suppose Taurus came out with this? I, I, I'm i actually pretty shocked. I think that they recognize that the 10 millimeter is still growing. It started about eight, nine years ago. You started to see Glock come out with some 10 millimeters. People were kind of shocked by that. And then a bunch of 1911s in 10 millimeter. Taurus got into it with this full size TH10. They made it ambidextrous, a matte finish on the slide does have the rail there nice overall grip with additional back straps a little extended beaver tail as well and a very nice trigger pull the taurus th10 can't wait to get this to the range i love shooting 10 millimeter it punches you back a bit but that's what you expect with a heavier load a 40 plus p plus p in many cases but the 10 millimeter has grown, it is growing, and Taurus met the demand with the new TH10. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.